Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Ferguson. Today we're going to be working on Skills Unit 3, Lesson 7. And by the end of this lesson today, you should be able to blend words with two or three sounds, name pictures that start with the k sound, say consonant sounds, and write the k sound. So let's get started. We're going to start by blending. Are you ready? I know you are. So we're going to blend sounds to make words. Remember, all of the words that I say today are going to have something in common. That's your job to figure it out. All right. Our first word is two sounds. It has two sounds. You ready? It's an, an, a, n, an. Good. The next one is Liz. Three sounds. Liz. O, I, Z. Liz. Good job. The next one is Meg. It's three sounds. Meg. M, E, G. Meg. Good. The next word is Jen. Three sounds. Jen. J, E, N. Jen. Good. The next word has three sounds. Pam. Pam. P -a -m. Pam. Good. The next word has three sounds. Jane. Jane. J -a -n. J-A-N-E. Good. And the last word has three sounds. Joan. Joan. J-O-N. Joan. Hmm. Good job blending. But what do all of those words have in common? Anne, Liz, Meg, Jen, Pam, Jane, Joan. Hmm. That's right. They're all names of girls. Excellent job. Pat yourselves on the back. All right, now it's time to review the sounds that we've learned. When you see the purple arrow, just say the sound. M, mm. A, T, D, A. We have a new sound. I'm so excited. Our new sound is K. Can you say k, k, let's hear it, k, k, very good. Now I want you to repeat after me. These words have k in the beginning. You ready? Listen closely and repeat after me. Cat, kite, kit, cold, car. Very good. Now, repeat after me again. But these words have the k sound at the end. Back, kick, bake, poke, snake. Did you hear the k sound in those? Good. And guess where the k sound is going? That's right, to the sound chart. We added it on there. Look at all those sounds we've learned so far. We're going to play a game. We're going to play I'm thinking of something again. So I'm going to be thinking of words that start with the k sound. And your job is to guess what it is. Ready? I'm thinking of something that you drive. It's outside. It has tires on it. What is it? That's right, a car. Let's do another one. I'm thinking of an animal that says meow. What is it? You got it, a cat. Very good. The next one, I'm thinking of something that you eat. It's yellow. It can be on a cob. We can eat it like this. What is it? 
You got it. Corn. Good job. All right. I'm thinking of something sweet. You may have it to celebrate a birthday. What could it be? You can blow candles out on it. You're right. Cake. Good job. Let's do another one. I'm thinking of something you wear outside when it's cold. You put it on your body and you zip it up, button it up before you go outside. What is it? A coat. Good job. Let's do one more. I'm thinking of weather that's not hot. You might go like this with this type of weather. I'm feeling what? Cold. Good job. That does start with the k k sound. All right. Now, today we're going to talk about consonant sounds. Can you say consonant sounds? Consonant. Yes. So remember, vowel sounds are made with an open mouth. Remember, ah and a. Eh. Now, we're going to talk about consonant sounds today. Let's look at the screen. From left to right, let's say the sounds. M, t, d, k. Those are the consonant sounds that we've learned so far. When we make consonant sounds, parts of our mouths touch together and the flow of the air coming out of our mouths slow down or it stops. So let's say those sounds again. M, t, d, k. You see how those sounds stop suddenly? Yes. So now, remember yesterday, I tried to sing happy birthday with the vowel sounds and it stretched the song out? I'm going to try to sing it without the vowels and just the consonant. Let's see how that sounds. What? Did that sound right? No, it did not sound right. Many consonant sounds are hard to hear when they are alone or by themselves because many of them are quick and short, like the t or d and the k. They're quick and they're short. Now the m, we can say it a little bit longer, but there are some quick consonants too. T, d, and k are quick and short. All right, let's do some chaining. Let's blend these sounds, you ready? At, at, this word says at, very good. Now, if we add a mm in front of at, what do we get? You got it, mat, mm, at, mat. Now, if we put a k instead of the mm, what is the new word? Cat, you got it. At cat. Very good. Oh, we're going to change the vowel. If we change the a eh to ah, what would our new word be? That's right. Cot. K at cot. Now, if we change the k to d, our new word would be, you got it, dot. D at dot nice job chaining now if we change the d to a t our new word would be that's right tot t at tot excellent job chaining those sounds boys and girls now it's time for us to figure out which pictures start with the k sound so let's start at the top with the first one we see a Cran. Does cran start with the k sound? Yes, it does. Let's put that k there. All right, the next picture is a cat. Does 
cat start with the k sound? Yes, it does. Let's put that k there. All right, the next picture is an elephant. Does elephant start with k? No, so we're not going to put the k there. What about the next picture? That's a cow. Does cow start with k? Yes, it does. Let's add that k there. Now down here we see coffee. Does coffee start with the k sound? Yes, it does. Let's add it. There it is. K. And the last picture is a guitar. Does guitar start with a k sound? No, so we're not going to put a k there. Great job with the k sound. Now it's time to practice writing the k sound. And I have my board with me. I'm going to make it first, but don't worry. You're going to get a chance to make it too. We're at the dashed line, and you're going to make most of a circle to the left. Now, we're not going to close it. We're going to make most of a circle, so watch me. We're going to start here, most of a circle to the left. There it is. Let's try another one. Most of a circle to the left. Let's do one more. Most of a circle to the left. And there you have it. Now it's your turn to practice making the k sound. So in your skills three workbook, turn to activity page 7.1. And if you don't have it, that's fine. Get a blank sheet of paper and you're going to practice writing your k sound. So at the top, it's showing you how to make it. Most of a circle to the left. And down here, we're gonna start at the dot and make most of a circle to the left. You're gonna practice the k sound on the whole page. And on your blank page, you're going to practice writing the k sound if you don't have this one. When you're done, take a picture of your work and upload it to your portfolio. Great job today, everyone. I'm so proud of you. Keep up the good work.